Let me show you the method that I use for squaring two-digit numbers. And if you're interested, we can move it up to higher numbers as well. I like to do everything by example. Uh, give us a small two-digit number as our first example. Go ahead. 25. 25. Actually, I'll, I'll um, uh, all right, I'll do 25. Now, that, that one's really easy. Numbers that end, in fact, let me save that as my second example. Let's do another small two-digit number. How about another one this time? 37. 37. That's a little harder, but we'll do it. Now, 37 is not a bad number to multiply, but what number close to 37 is much easier? 40. So I'm going to go up 3 to the number 40. Now, whatever comes up must come down. If I go up 3 to 40, I have to go down to the same, di the same distance to the number 34. So the first part of my calculation is I do 40 times 34. Now, don't panic. That's just 4 times 34 with a friendly zero attached. I like zeros. Let's do 4 times 34 together, really together. 4 times 30 is, say it, 120. 4 times 4 is, say it, 16. 120 plus 16, add it from left to right, 120 plus 16 is? Good, 136. Now we bring in the friendly zero, that's 1,360, and we're almost done. All we have to add to this is the square of the number that we went up and down. We went up and down 3, 3 squared is? Nine, and there's your answer, 1,369. Not bad. Here, let's do another. Let's do another. Let's do 25, okay? Numbers that end in five are especially easy, because this time I'll go down five to the number 20. Therefore, we go up to what number? 30, 30 right? Because if I go down five, I have to go up five. 20 times 30 is? 600. And what do we add to that? Yeah, the square of 5, which is 25, to get, say it, 625. You got it. 